OK, in this example, we need to find and simplify the first five terms in the expansion of 2 minus x to the power of 8 in ascending powers of x. As we're now working with power 8, it will be quite inefficient to write out Pascal's triangle in order to find the eighth row. It makes more sense in this case to use the binomial formula, which is in your formula book. So here we have 2 minus x to the power of 8. The first term is the same as always. We're going to do 2 to the power of 8. However, this time, because we're only doing the first five terms, we can't then write down the last term because there have been nine terms in all. And so instead, what we're going to do next is write in which binomial coefficients we're going to find. So because the power is 8 here, that's n in the formula down here. So we're going to do 8, 1, 8, 2, and so on. So we have 8, 1. We'll leave a bit of space. 8, 2. 8, 3. And 8, 4. That will give us the first five terms. Next up, we'll do the powers of 2. We've got 2 to the power of 8. 2 to the 7. 2 to the 6, 2 to the 5, and 2 to the 4. Then we'll do the powers of negative x. We've got negative x to the power 1, negative x to the power 2, negative x to the power 3, and negative x to the power 4. And because there are more terms, I'm just going to put plus dot 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 on the end. On the next line, we'll do a bit of simplifying and we'll also evaluate these binomial coefficients. So 2 to the 8 is 256. 8c1 is something you can actually work out without your calculator. We'll put it in now though, just to show you. So 8c1 gives us 8. And what you'll find when you do the value of nc1 is you always get n. So if I was doing 9c1, I would have got 9 here and so on. 2 to the power 7 is 128. And we've got minus x, which we'll just leave as it is for now. 8c2, we'll put that into our calculator. That gives us 28. 2 to the power 6 is 64. And negative x all squared gives us positive x squared. Next, we need 8c3. That's 56. We've got 2 to the power 5, that's 32. We've got minus x cubed, that will stay negative. And then we've got 8c4, that gives us 70. 2 to the 4 is 16. And negative x all to the power 4 gives us positive x to the 4. Simplifying. We've got 8 times 128 times negative x, so that will be negative, and 8 times 128 is 1024. For the x squared term, we have 28 times 64, which is 1792. For the x cubed term, we're doing 56 times 32 times negative x cubed, so the answer will be negative, and it's 1792 x cubed. I could do this without a calculator here because I've got 28 times 64. Well, 56 is double 28 and 32 is half of 64. So there is a shortcut there. For the final term, I've got 70 times 16, which gives me 1120 x to the 4. OK, here's a problem for you to have a go at for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. OK, here's my solution then. Well done if you got it correct first time. If not, I'll go through how I got my solution now. So we're doing 1 minus 2x to the power of 9. So the first term will just be 1 to the power of 9. Then we need to write in our binomial coefficients. 
So the power is 9, so we get 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, 3, and 9, 4. Next, we'll put in our powers of 1. So we'll get 1 to the 8, 1 to the 7, 1 to the 6, and 1 to the 5. Obviously, in practice, when you get more fluent with this, you probably wouldn't even bother writing 1 to the 8 or 1 to the 7. You might not even bother writing the 1. You might just skip straight to the second term because multiplying by 1 isn't going to affect the answer. We've also got our powers of negative 2x. So we've got negative 2x to the power of 1, negative 2x squared, and negative 2x cubed, negative 2x to the power of 4. Next, we'll input our binomial coefficients and simplify. 1 to the 9 is just 1. 9, 1, as we talked about earlier, we don't need a calculator for that. That's just 9. And then we'll ignore the 1 to the 8 and just write in the minus 2x. 9c2, probably need our calculator for that. We get 36. And minus 2x all squared gives us positive 4x squared. 9c3, we'll pop that into our calculator. We get 84. And negative 2x all cubed gives us negative 8x cubed. 9c4 gives us 126. And then minus 2x all to the power of 4 gives us positive 16x to the 4. Now we'll just tidy everything up a bit. We've got 1. 9 times negative 2x is negative 18x. We've got 36 times 4 gives us 144x squared. We've got 84 times negative 8x cubed gives us negative 672x cubed. And we've got 126 times 16 gives us 2016x to the power of 4.